Rated T for Teen. 20 years ago, a really tough guy punched his way to glory. It was really awesome, but then he vanished and things really changed. But now it's the future and things are run by a morally ambiguous corporation and everything's cyberpunk. Hey dweebs, I'm Chuck, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the fighter management sim Punch Club 2. Fast forward, an upcoming title by developers Lazy Bear Games. Inspired by all-out 80s and 90s awesomeness with a hilarious branching story, Punch Club 2 is sure to be even punchier and clubbier than ever. Punch Club 2 Fast Forward is a fighter management sim with RPG mechanics where you aren't actually the one fighting. It's this chump here. So experiment with fighting schools, strategies, and abilities. Because remember, no one's gonna punch you. You're responsible for managing his fighting career, planning his match strategy, and training him. Good luck. <laughs> when preparing for a fight, the first thing to consider is which fighting school you wanna select. There are three basic fighting schools that focus on strength, agility, and stamina. Before a fight, you can select what attack and defense moves you want to use. It's a viable strategy focusing on defense and any unused slots will allow your player to recoup energy during the fight. By combining styles with attack and defense strategies, players are able to create their own unique fighting style. Study your rivals closely and when you see a weakness, use custom combinations of skills, boosts, and software to micromanage the fight before it starts and then sit back and watch the results of your efforts. But you can't expect him to just jump into the ring and prepare to fight him, jeez. You gotta train him first, or not. This is Punch Club 2, so it's up to you. Now there are multiple ways to increase your strength, agility, and stamina stats. We'll look at the old school way first. At the start of the game, you'll have access to a dusty old mat, but soon you'll be able to buy, unlock, and access more training equipment to speed up the process. But the best thing, it's mostly free, which is exactly your budget. It just takes time, which is limited but there's a quicker and more effective option. Neuro training, welcome to the future. You can get hench without lifting a finger. Want even quicker progress? No problem. We're proud to introduce extreme neuro training. But be careful though, aside from extreme neuro training, potentially turning your brain into a slimy soup or worse, or giving you the brain overload debuff before a fight, it's also kind of expensive, which means it's time for our unemployed hero to get a job. Money is one of the predominant mechanics outside of fighting and training that you manage in the game alongside time, hunger, good person points, energy, and our hero's happiness. But lucky for you, the Undercity is filled with greed, so you can work for a grimy gang, the Mafia, or even Yakuza during the early game. Working passively increases your stats. Like for example, working at the noodle restaurant will increase your agility stat whilst earning you some sweet, sweet moolah. You can work for multiple organizations, but you can't be in two places at once, at least not in this game. Another way to generate income is to progress up the fighting leagues, where you'll be able to strategically choose your opponents to gain either more or less good person points for winning a fight. But if you really want to get your money's worth, talk to Bobo Jr. about illegally hacking the fight, meaning bigger wins, but also bigger losses. And that brings us to time management. It's up to the players to create the best strategy to manage these aspects as they progress through the game. Carefully choose and plan when to carry out the essential tasks like eating and sleeping, or supplement these with food and drinks that provide a small boost to these stats for a price. Turning up to a fight hungry, tired, injured, or depressed is not gonna cut it. You need our champ fighting fit to avoid any debuffs going into the fight. You also need to turn up to the fight on time. It would be an embarrassing loss of good person points. Now this may seem like a lot to compute, especially if you've taken as many hits to the head as this guy has. But don't worry, soon you'll be operating like a well-oiled machine, keeping our guy happy, rested, and fighting fit. Why work so hard to help this guy? It's a valid question. You gotta feel pretty bad for him because his mom didn't let him leave the house for like 20 years and his father mysteriously vanished and everyone, like a weird amount of people, always wanna fight him. But if he wants to solve the mystery of his father's disappearance, he's gonna need a lot of GPP and a lot of help from you. So don't be a chump. Wishlist Punch Club 2 fast forward now, right now. プレイステーション